Hey there, it's Brett of Booster Therapy, and it marks a new month. It's August 2020, and yep, we have another giveaway. In July, we gave away a Zerzoth EDH deck complete with all the goodies. It was valued around 250 or more dollars um, with, you know, around 300 with the deck box and everything, and, well, we're doing it again. This time, I figured I'd show the commander. So we're going to give away a full commander deck of... Tatiova Benthic Druid. I'm going to be building that. It's going to be worth 200 plus dollars. It's going to have a deck box, sleeved up, everything that you would need to pull it out of the box, play, and have a lot of fun, be focused, and, well, hopefully stomp your friends. So all you have to do in this month to qualify is the same as last month. Just comment on our videos, be a subscriber, make sure you're liking the videos. At the end of the month, we're going to gather all of these comments, pick one person at random, and that person is going to get that deck. We're going to ship it to you. It doesn't matter if you're in the United States or outside of the U.S. We're going to give it to you just for watching, being a subscriber, and enjoying the content. So uh, without further ado, enjoy the video. Have a great day. It's patron time. Chaos opening. Woo! Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that patron pack cracking addiction. I have a bunch of patrons and I've got a bag full of random packs. Most of these packs are standard legal booster packs, but there's a few little surprises for a couple lucky patrons, whoever gets it. It's truly chaos, chaos time with booster therapy. So let's grab the first name and get into it. Colin B, six packs. So we're gonna just blindly reach we got one, two, three, four, gotta get two more, five, six. Uh, looks like you got a lot of throne, lots of throne, some Theros, and War of the Spark, Colin. So as always with all of our patrons, just thank you. Thank you for the love, the support, the Discord shenanigans. That's right, you can be a part of the, our Discord. It's, it's fun. Let's get some good hits for Colin. Sahili, Sublime Artificer, and oh, Colin, Finale of Devastation. Oh, and a Foil Planes. So we'll definitely make sure that the Planeswalkers go back. So if anybody's getting War of the Spark, Planeswalkers inside, ooh, this is the Japanese print run. It means we're gonna get right to the rare and we get the nice, uh, well, you know, the nice, the better print run, so we'll keep this land too. The forest. Oh, another foil land. A beautiful foil forest for Mr. Colin. And Archon of Sun's Grace. And a quick spot check for any good uncommons. All right. And then Throne of Eldraine. So we want the Great Henge, right? Is that the greatest thing of all things to get? I think it is. Showcase. We like Showcase. Iron Crag Feet. Some stinky old feet. Ooh, foil rare. Castle Garenbrig. It pays, guys. It pays to be the six pack. Boy, I, Colin, I feel like I've always just. Did I ever open bad for you? I feel like I've always gotten hits for my buddy Colin. Just taking care of that boy, taking care of him. Outlaws Merriment, another mythic. Not bad. We'll take multiple mythics in a six pack opening. Ooh. Well, there's much else in here besides the rare spot. Feasting Troll King. Big old troll. Last pack, Colin. Thanks so much for being a friend. Oh, which is oven? That's right. That's there. Happily ever after, which is exactly what I hope for. Our friend Colin. And a second, a second foil rare. Another feasting troll king. Why not? Trolls everywhere for our friend Colin. Colin, thank you so much. Let's make sure I'm doing the official tracking, which is, you know, me putting his little name thing over his pile of cards. Let's pick our next victim. We've got Dan, Dan C. Three packs, let's dig deep. I'm digging real deep, Dan. One, two, three. Well, we got a good variety. We got Ikoria. War of the Spark and Throne of Eldraine. And there's a handful of different booster boxes, so who's to say we don't see another finale? 
All right, Angrath, Captain of Chaos, and a Solar Blaze. A big old Solar Blaze from the Parhelion Tube. Come on, let's see that. I want to see a oh, Mystic Sanctuary. That's in there. Sir Eleonora and the Acclaimed Contender. Do we have another foil in this one? Nope, just lands. All right, what's good in Ikoria? It's been a while since I've looked at the Ikoria packs. I'm just so used to only Godzilla's. We want Mothra, right? <laughs> That's not the official name. Ooh, Genesis Ultimatum. The Ultimatums are fun. And a foil Frill Scare Mentor with a little dino next to him. Dan, thank you for being a patron and a lover of the booster therapy, an addict that must have things cracked. Next up, we've got, <gasps> got our boy Pause. Let's pause for the cause. Grab three packs deep from within. One, two, three. There's three packs. Oh, that's four. Oh, War of the Spark. You're going to war today, Pause. Hopefully there's some good planeswalkers or nonsense that you're looking for, because I am going to dig for it. Fire Mines Vessel, I like it. Tamio, Collector of Tales. Fire Mines Vessel, not worth a ton, but it is one of those really clean two-mana ramp spells. You know, you like it. It's good. Vade the City, Nahiri, Storm of Stone, and oh, the Barhelion 2. The big beefcake swinging on in, spitting angels out. Beefcake too. Tybalt, rackish instigator. And Awakening of Vitugazi. I still can't believe a five man a nine nine at instant speed wasn't something that uh, was pulled off. And it is haste, why not? Pause, I pause for the cause, thank you so much. Next up, we've got Robert J. Robert, just go two from the top and one from the deep, deep depths of the bottom. All right, we got variety. All right, Throne, War, and Ikoria for our boy Robert. Both Sworn Knight, based off of the Knights who say knee, you hit them and it's just the flesh wound, they keep coming. And a foil order of midnight. Oh, the foil looks really good. We'll go to Ikoria. We'll save the war for the last one. I'm guessing the fiend artisan is still the big hit in Ikoria. Death's Oasis. Come on, let's uh, let's get that. I know he's banned, but three fairy is still good, right? We everybody loves a three fairy. The Wanderer. Well, we won't get a Planeswalker then. <gasps> the Plain Wild Celebration. Celebrating Robert J. and his wonderfulness. He's just a wonderful man. Next up, we got Tim. Tim W. Tim, let's go. Random, random, random. Oh, dropped one. There it is. Don't worry. It was an Ikoria. And a couple Theros Beyond Death. Where we can hope to see, uh, we want, we want Uro, we want Titans, Kroxa, Uro, something good. We've got a beautiful land that goes home with you, and a treacherous blessing. Weird looking card. Oh, and we got a showcase annex. Why not? Ikoria, fiend artist in time, maybe. Something good. Ooh, ooh Lord Dracus. Rogarin Crystal and Yorian the Sky Nomad. Not bad. Not bad at all. And our final pack for Tim W. Come on, be a good one. Be a wonderful pack of Magic the Gathering. Oh, I, almost, I almost skipped right over it. Oh, Thassa's Intervention. It is a nice little X counter spell, which matters if you're playing Zaxara, right? Tim, thank you so much for supporting Booster Therapy and all of the love. Next up, we've got Anthony C. Anthony C. Three packs. We got Theros War and Throne. All right. 
This is fun, pulling into a, a giant bag of tricks and pulling out magic cards. That is the best trick of all. The swamp. And oh, Clothis, God of Destiny. Boy, do I love my gods. Gods are great. Field of Dead is good as well. More gods. We can get a god for more of the spark, right? Let's chase gods all day. Let's get gods everywhere for everyone. Sir Conrad, you know, he's a spicy boy. And once upon a time, this card was good. I mean, it is good. I can't say that. It is always good. It's just, you know, banned everywhere. All right, let's see if we can get another god. Which god is your favorite from this? Is it, it's got to be Oketra, right? That's the, that's the powerhouse god. Samut, Tyrant, Smasher, and Casualties of War. Wonderful little card. Big fan of the Casualties. Well, Anthony, hope you enjoyed that, because we enjoy having you. Thank you for being a part of Booster Therapy. Next up, Aaron T. You got T-Man. Three random packs from the depths, and it is Throne Throne and Theros. We'll go right for the Uro, right out the gate here. Let's get that Uro. Why don't they just do everything in this Japanese print run? It just feels better. Planes. Underworld Breach, a super useful card. Love that card in every format that they haven't banned it from yet. Good all around. I mean, to make permanents have flashback is just kind of nice. It's a nice thing to do. Fires of Invention, this was very good. And well, it is, it's just banned now. And a foil out muscle. Let's out muscle that last pack and get the Great Henge. Or a Questing Beast. I haven't seen a Questing Beast for a while. Come on, Aaron. Questing Beast. Ooh, Seb McKinnon, Order of Midnight. Beautiful order. And, ah, oh, the Cauldron of Eternity. It is a mythic. It's not the Great Henge, but it's one of our super-powered artifacts. Aaron, thank you so much for supporting us. We really appreciate you. Next up, we got... Ryan Boo, B-Man, the B. Ryan has his three packs, and here they are. War, Ikoria, and Theros. Let's go right to the war. Take Ryan right to war. See where he goes. Oh, oh, oh Raul Storm Conduit. Well, he does double your spells for double the fun. Come on, Uro. Uro or Kroxa, come on. The planes. And Gallia of the Endless Dance. You know, I always knew, oh, Gary. I always knew Ryan was a huge Seder fan since the day I met him. Fun fact, Ryan is the oldest patron of Booster Therapy. He has been here the longest. Thank you, Ryan. Dranith Magistrate, nice little lockdown card. A vicious white creature that everyone loves to hate. Ryan, thank you for the over one year of support, a year and a half, maybe even a little bit more. Thank you for being there for us. Next up, we have, oh, it's a 10 pack for Jonathan H. This is gonna be fun, let's dig deep. We'll start on the left side. So here's a bunch of packs. We got one, two, three, four, five. Go to this side now. Get five more, hopefully. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we gotta reach in for one more pack. Uh, going deep all the way to the side, and I got another Ikoria pack. All right. Jonathan, hopefully we get some monsters for you here. Specifically Titans, if we're looking for monsters. Mountain, and a foil starlet mantle building the suspense. <gasps> Uh, Heliod's Intervention, very powerful card. Very good for Commander too. It's just a nice way to take care of a lot of problems. All right, another shot. Not a Japanese print run this time. Must have come from another box. Whoop, Thrix the Sudden Storm. A big legendary elemental giant boy that flies in the sky and throws pies. Right in the face, he just hits you in the face with a freaking pie. Fun fact, they actually call him Thrix the Pie Guy, but, you know, didn't fit on the card quite right. 
they took it away. Fervent Champion, great for those night decks. Great with equipments. Really want to see the Great Henge. Great Henge, please, for Jonathan. Do it. Order of Midnight, another nice little showcase from Seb. And the Ember Cleave. Speaking of good equipments, there we go. Ember Cleave, nice hit, John. Nice Lidan. Wow, that's a good one. Can we do something like that again? That was fun. Animating Fairy. And the Midnight Clock. Hey, it is ramp. It is mono blue ramp. So that's, you know, that alone is nice. The whole, you know, time spiral-esque effect or whatever it is that comes late in the game isn't bad either. Emergent Ultimatum. This is, this is a really good one. Searching for a few permanents and making it happen. All for the low, low price of that. You know, seven. Another big card. I see a foil. Something shining. Song of Creation. I still want to break the hell out of this card. It's so good. And the Auspicious Starix foil. There was a moment, a short moment, where that was being played, and it looked like it could have been effective. Like a, a real mutate deck. It's real life. Oh, oh, oh. Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage. And... Enter the God Eternals. Try to do my best, like, you know, wrestling ring announcer wearing very, very black trunks. The Giants, the Gods, ooh, Mystical Dispute. Castle Ardenvale. That's good when you have, you know, the Divine Visitation on there. Moonlit Scavengers. Foil. I just don't even, I don't even have logic in my piles anymore. I'm just making a pile of good things for Jonathan. Last pack, it's a Vicoria, Jonathan. I'm hoping I hit you something real nice. Ooh, it is the Shark Tathoon. Sharknado, and we got a foil. Oh, a beautiful foil. Cavern Whisper. It's not worth much, but look at that art. Watsy, more comic book stuff. That looks cool. Jonathan, thank you so much for supporting us and all the nonsense that we bring to the table. Next up is Lucas B. Six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was a perfect grab. Thank God for that. Six packs of Magic the Gathering. Planeswalkers first. Maybe a god. Who knows? Ooh, Jang Yangu, Wild Crafter, and Cranko, Tin Street Kingpin. I do love a Cranko. He is good. Mob Boss better. Tin Street Hooligan just as fun. What else do we got here? What else do we got? Oh, Grum Gully. You're going to get a Grum Gully. Everybody who opens Grum Gully should have him. The Clackbridge Troll. Big Troll. I do love the not usually noticed light green hue to those creepy eyes they are so beady and vile i just love it it's so nice keep doing that quick check for those goodies in there the faber elder nice little budget version of our I can't think of his name. He's just reprinted in Mystery Boosters. He's really good. Taps for that. You know who I'm talking about. Somebody's writing in the comments as I draw a blank. I know it. Thank you. Ah, Torbrand. Thane of Redfell. Torbrand. Anybody, any, any big uh, Overwatch players out there? We play Overwatch. PS4, Pat and I do. You wanna play? Maybe we can play some competitive? Ooh, the Luminous Brood Moth. Nicely done, Lucas. A nice little mythic hit. And you know what? Anytime I see the Planeswalker token, I have to drop it in there. Nice. I love Luminous Brood Moth. So much possibility. Mystic Sanctuary. And Stolen by the Fae for your last rare. Stolen by the Fae. Lucas. 
Thank you so much for all of the love and support. Up next, we have Jared K. Oh, 18 packs. Let me uh, let me get situated for this one. Raise the chair up a little bit. Okay, 16 packs. Let's count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, 10 more. 10 more. We can do this. You got it, Brett. You can do this. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One more pack. I'm digging as deep as I can on this one. I'm digging deep. There it is. It's a throne. Okay. All right. Wait, is that just, did I get six? No, I'm thinking I got 16. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I did, I miscounted. Or I'm just bad at math. That's true too. Two more packs. And two more Theros Beyond Death. Jared, thank you for all of the fun. I actually recently got to play a commander game with Jared. He's on our Discord. People launch games and every now and again, if I get free time, I'm gonna jump in and play. Planes and a Temple of Malice. You know, rude. Let's get something good this time. Hopefully you guys like this whole chaos style. It is a ton of fun. This is, I'm speaking directly to the patrons. It is a lot of fun just to kind of go crazy like this. Escape Velocity Foil and Hectos, the Unscarred. I do have a fun Commander Hectos deck. It's nice to have that much protection from things. All right, where are we with this? Ashiok, Dream Render, and ooh, Finale of Promise. Nice little mythic. Oh, and a foil, Vraska's finisher. Nice little mythic for Jared K. Let's get the mythic train going. We got 18 packs. I mean, it's half a booster box. We want to see at least three or four mythics, right? Mountain. Arasta of the Endless Web. I do like Arasta. War of the Spark. We're still looking for maybe Liliana. Any of the any of the mythic planeswalkers are pretty good though. Nahiri, Storm of Stone, and Neheb, Dread Horde Champion. best part of patron opening is the giant, I mean giant mess next to me. That's the thumbnail of this video. I'm just going to push the giant mess on camera. A Johnny the Great Hearted and Kaya's Ghost Form Foil. Just so we can see the, the awfulness of, it's not awful, actually it's just a ton of fun. It's like I could go take a bath in a bunch of Packs of Magic Card. Another Faber Elder. Looks like we've got a legendary foil behind him. Ooh, a foil Sir Conrad. I mean, he can be a commander, and now he's all foiled out. That's cool. All right, Great Henge time. I'm still rooting for it. Still wanting the Great Henge. Ah, Vantress Gargoyle. We do have a foil showcase behind him, though. Oh, I was hoping it was the love struck beast. The Tuinvale tree folk. War, more planeswalkers. Come on, nickel boloss. Something, something, something spicy. Give me something spicy. Sahili, sublime artificer, and Vivian's Arcmo. <sighs> Come on, Jared. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to heat these bad boys up. Get the Fiend Artist in here. Let's get something good. Fiend. Fiend. We got another foil at least. Lava Brink Venturer. Is it a foil mythic maybe? Uh, that's a land. It's a beautiful foil forest. You know, I do always like the foil lands. It's just a good way. It's an inexpensive way to bling out your deck. It's just nice. Oh, 
Ah, claimed contender. Tooting up some knights. Crumbly pack. Is this gonna be a good one? Is this the one with Uro? He's right here. The Woe Strider. I do like Woe Strider. Never said about a Woe Strider. Ooh, Japanese print run. You can always feel it because you got that extra space in the pack. And you got that little pull tab too. You got the island. And <laughs> back to back Woe. Well, each box that's in here had a Woe Strider. And Jared. Lucky you, you got them both, buddy. Hopefully you needed a fun sack outlet. That is easy to get back from the graveyard and hard to get rid of. I mean, really, that is what he is powerful with. Gadwick the Wizened and Ardenvale Tactician Foil. Come on, I want the Great Henge. Stonehenge. Iron Crag feet. A really quick way to activate your sneak attack seven times on a turn. And a foil opt. You're getting a lot of foils. The foils are true for Jared. <sighs> the Midnight Clock. Another Midnight Clock to ramp up. Tick down to midnight and uh, shuffle up and deal. Last pack of Throne of Eldraine. Can we get one of the goodies? Oh, Mystic Sanctuary, the one that we're always spot checking for. And once upon a time, we have another foil. Is that a Castle Vantress behind it? Ah, it's an island. A beautiful island. The, the lands in um, for Throne were beautiful. And that's, that is Neil's hand. Can't ever be sad with a nice Foil Neil's ham piece. They always look good. All right, last pack for Jared, and it's a whirlwind of thought for that extra card draw. Well, Jared, thank you so much. Thank you for letting me one, you know, interrupt and play with y'all, but being a great patron, a friend, just somebody that we love having within the community. Thank you, Jared. We mean it. All right, what's up next? What do we got here next? Oh, Mark W. We got six packs from Mark. Let's see, we got one, two, three. Uh, trying to reach deep, trying to reach deep. Four, five, six. So we got some Ikoria, some Throne, War of the Spark, and a thing. Yeah, you've kind of hit the full cycle, except for we still have, there's three packs of Modern Horizons and then one extra special pack sitting in there, and we still have not seen it yet. Swamp? Ooh, a nice foil showcase annex. Constellation right, that looks great. And the Tectonic Giant. I actually really like the Tectonic Giant. Anything that can play off triggers like that is just really satisfying then. Whether it's drawing cards or adding to the just damage, he's real good. Ooh, oh, Ugin the Ineffable, nice. A beautiful, Ugin, and a Foil Wanderer Strike. Exile Creature and Proliferate. Proliferate. Throne, still on the hunt for that Great Henge. Mystic Sanctuary, though. Always take those. Gromgolly, and ooh, a Showcase Bone Crusher Giant. Such a useful card. Very good rare from Throne. I wonder if that one will ever get to see itself. I mean, I don't think it does now, but I would love to see it find play outside of standard, but it is just so good for standard and it will be around for a while. The Love Struck Beast. There he is. A couple packs of Ikoria. I'd love to get some of the heavy hitters from here. We've only really, what, seen Luminous Broodmoth, right? Should still be plenty to pack a punch with. Ooh, Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Non-tribal tribal. And a foil night squad commando. Last pack from Mark W. Mark, thank you so much for being with us and always just having lots of fun. Let's get something good for Mark. The inspired ultimatum. Damage, life gain, and nonsense. All in one card. 
Mark, thank you so much for being a patron and a friend of the channel. Next up, we have oh, Eric G. Another heavy hitter. We got 18 packs. Let's just pull a bunch out first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That time we need 10 more. Now I can do maths. Okay. This feels like 10. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That was, wow. A perfect pull of Magic the Gathering. Let's get into it. Surprise yourself along the way. War of the Spark. Please note, I still have not seen the Modern Horizons. I'm gonna shake this. There we go. Shake the bag up off camera. Get things all jumbled. I wanna see those packs come out here soon. Oop, back up. We got a Firemines Vessel. We got Arlen, Voice of the Pack, and a Bio Essence Hydra. I was just so excited about Eric and his wonderfulness that I just kept going. Whew, is it time to do my perfect Australian accent for Eric? Oh, it's a Clackbridge troll. Put another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> That's so bad. God, I'm terrible, terrible. Eric, why do you put up with us? You, you wonderful man. Must be a saint. Here we go, Forest. Oh, Palucranos, Unchained. Palucranos, very, very good. Love seeing that mythic. I feel like he goes hidden often. Another one that can just escape over and over and over again and fight the world. Forest. And a Shadow Spear, another really good card from, from uh, blah, blah, blah. Theros. I kept wanting to say Throne. That's what happens when it's all chaos. You just don't know what the hell to say anymore. You just say stuff. Come on, Eric, let's get more mythics. Do more work, that's what we're here to do. Smack some hits out of the pack. Vraska, Swarm's Eminence, and a Soul Diviner. I do like the Soul Diviner. Nice little way to draw cards off all those proliferatins. That's a word you just didn't know yet. Ah, Kogla the Titan Ape, we got a big old King Kong. Swinging from the top ropes, bashing people around. People don't know his uh, his uh, attack trigger. They don't know it. They don't realize it happens until it's too late. It's not a damage trigger, it's an attack trigger. Nice, we have a nice little fabled passage of fetch land for Eric G. More Ikoria. I feel like this is the one we've seen the least amount of mythics from. I would love to see some. Heavy hits from Ikoria here. The Labyrinth Raptor for your Menace Tribal deck. Come on, Eric. Ooh. Sir Conrad and a Bone Crusher Giant. Not showcased this time. Ooh, another Japanese print run. Theros, can we get a god? Can we get a titan? Something big and mythic? That's what we want. Leyland, Incendiary Oracle, and the Nightmare Shepherd. I do love the Nightmare Shepherd. Another very powerful card. Love seeing it played with uh, Relentless Rats, where, you know what, even when they die, they just come back just as strong. It's a satisfying way to play. Oathsworn Knight. We got another knight who says, Nay! And a foil foul mere knight. Beautiful little foiling. More Ikoria, more layers, more beasties. Again, I am just fully expecting us to swing a bunch of mythics here soon on this one. Titan's Nest. Not yet, I guess. And a foil frostlings. I do like that artwork. A little, a little frosty right there. Oh man, there are so many more packs just hanging out in there. We got a lot to dig through today. Dance of the Mance. That's what uh, Eric Stewin right now is doing, the Mance dance. It's a uh, Australian dance where somehow their shoes end up on their ears and they just shake all around. It's pretty cool. 
Gilded Goose, there's a nice one. The Goose is loose in a foil all that glitters. That actually might be worth something. That is a solid foil, and that is a card that we'll see play outside of standard. Very, very good card. Love it in enchantment decks too for Commander. Ah, the Feasting Troll King, the third. How can you have three kings? I mean, ah, Troll King, come on. Let's see that henge. Let's see the henge for good old Eric. Another one of our long standing patrons of the channel. Ooh, Stone Coil Serpent, I'll take that. I love Stone Coil Serpent. Also love the art on this card. And a foil Wish Claw Talisman. There is a fun card for Commander. That is a great way to make friends. I have a couple decks where I actually have the Wish Claw Talisman. I pick a friend, we trade it back and forth, and I just keep proliferating it. It is super satisfying just to dig through your deck. Kyora, best the sea god. There is a mythic. There it is. We got another mythic. Eric, you got two of them. Can we get a third one in the final pack of Ikoria? A pack that I feel like we have seen the least amount of mythics. G Gigantha, the Wellspring. Fun card. We, I think we have a foil rare behind this. Yes, the Whirlwind of Thought foil. I was hoping for a foil mythic there. Well, Eric, thank you for everything. As always, you are a wonderful patron. Thanks for being with us for over a year. We really appreciate you. Eric G, ladies and gentlemen. Next up we have, it looks like Jacob. Yup, Jacob L, three packs, let's do it. Uno, dos, tres, three packs. Ikoria, Theros, and Ikoria. What will we get for you? Oh, Trumpety Nar. And Ruinous Ultimatum. This is, in my opinion, the best ultimatum. Having like a one-sided board wipe at seven mana is very fair costed even with the devastating mana symbols there. It's just so strong. Night, another Nightmare Shepherd. I do love that card. And a forest. And Jacob, buddy, old pal, last pack, Ikoria. Let's hope we start digging into some of these mythics here. Ooh, a Savai Triome. These are some of the best things you can really get from the set. So we got the Ruinous Ultimatum and we got the Savai Triome to pay for it. Jacob, thank you so much for being a patron and for helping us out. We really appreciate it. Next up is Patrick R with six packs of magic. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks like six, right? Two, three, four, five. Oh, one more. Just get one more. There we go. Some more Theros. There's a lot of Theros left. That's good because we want lots of Earls. Lots of Croxes. Lots of gods. We love the gods. Ooh, Temple of Enlightenment. And the mountain. That's the upside. You always, Theros ones, you always get a full art Nyx land, which is always nice. Daxo Showcase and a Storm Herald. Ooh, and a beautiful foil island and a plains. Not a bad pack. Not a bad pack at all. Oh, got the Japanese print run. Things up front. Got the Swamp. And Thassa's Oracle. The Devastatingly Rude Combo Win Piece. The Thassa's Oracle. Fasa Spicy Meatball. All right. Good, yeah, Realm Cloak Giant. We get to see a mythic. There is a mythic. I'm still wanting that great henge though, but I'll take a mythic whenever I can get one. Another shot of great henge right here. Don't worry, Patrick. We're gonna do our best. We want to see it. Mystic Sanctuary. Very nice. And the Wicked Wolf that became unplayable once Oko was banned. Third. And a roving key foil. War of the Spark. Is three fairies still worth a good amount or are we just strictly looking for Liliana and 
nickel bolas at this point because those things are going to be good forever. Kaya, Bane of the Dead. So this means maybe finale. Oh, Tulsimir, friend to wolves. It's a wolf friend with your wicked wolf. Patrick, thank you so much for letting us open packs for you and being a part of our channel. Next up is, let's see, random pick. It's going to be Liliana. Just kidding, it's Lillian. Three packs for Lillian. One, two, three. We've got a couple of Theros. And, uh, or a couple thrown in a Theros. I keep misspeaking. So annoying. Castle Lockdwain. I love the castles. They're just like an instant include. You like them every time. You're playing swamps? Put a Lockdwain in it, man. It's minimally just, you know, doing the swamp thing. In a pinch, you get to tap it, get a little bit more value. So good. The Lockmere Serpent. I really expected way more out of this card. I thought people would be running that thing all day in like blue black control decks. It's just a superstar card that has flash, that is under costed. It has, it had everything right. Everything was going right for that card and it's not being played. And the Grave Breaker Lamia. I do like this a lot in, ooh, foil rare in Commander. Timurit Calls the Dead. I love how the foil sagas look too. They just always look good. Lillian, thank you so much for joining the fun and being a friend of Booster Therapy. We really appreciate it. Next up, we've got Mitch P. Mitch P. Let's see what we got for you. We've got, well, we got all Theros. Let's find some gods. Some good commander staples for Mitch P. That's what he's talking about. He wants your commander goods right away. Forest and a foil shadow spear. Nice. That is a commander staple card. That is very good. And Elspeth Conquers Death, the rudest card printed in this set. Does so much, so much value packed into five mana. Killing things, taxing things, and reviving things. Man, that's what Elspeth wants. Island. And a Protean Thaumaturge. It's a fun thing to say. What a fun word. Thaumaturge. I'm done. I'm done. All right. Let's see it. Let's see the Uro. Let's go Uro dancing. Planes and a slow build with the glory bearers. Is it a mythic? It's a rare. Timurit calls the dead. Well, you got the foil money card. Shadow Spear. All very nice. Mitch P. Thanks for teaching us how to play. Next up, we have Zach H. Three packs for Zach. We got one, two, three, digging deep. And there it is, yeah, Zach, you're the first. First one, two war, the Modern Horizons pack for Zach. That's right, buddy, you got one of the first three. Two left, everybody, stay tuned. But you've got the first one. You got Kazmina, Enigmatic Mentor, and a Mizium Tank. Blah. Let's get it. Let's get the Dragon God. Let's get the Dragon God into an Urza. That would be fun. Emergent Zone, Jaya, Venerated Fire Mage, and Deliver Unto Evil. I feel a foil in here. And the Goblin Assault Team foil. All right. Whew. Modern Horizon, Zach. Modern horizons let's get good things the spirit we'll give you the art card because it's seb mckinnon we got our snow covered island which is useful it's peak is it a mythic it's a rare winds of abandon very very useful rare automatic include if you're playing white in my opinion it is such a good card looks like nothing else there well zach you're one of the lucky few you got the Modern Horizons pack. Thank you so much for being a patron. Next up, we've got Corey J. Corey, let's see what we got for you. Six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. The grab was perfect. I'm looking like a lot of throne and a little bit of something on the bottom. A little bit of spice on the bottom. 
Lochmere Serpent, there he is again. Big old serpent that I demand more out of in this rotation world. When things rotate, I wanna see that control deck step the game up with that card. Turn into pumpkin. Escape, let's get that. Remember, that guy looks just so cool. Escape the wilds. Whoop. You guys all know what I'm thinking though. It's like, where is the Great Hinge? There's at least two boxes worth, if not more. Where's the Great Hinge? Love struck bees. Was well, it in here? Last chance, it looks like, for the Great Hinge. Bog Naughty. Ooh, Gadwick the Wizen. And, ooh, an excellent foil, Corey. Emery Lurker of the Lock, a superstar foil for Commander. Not bad. So we're, oh, there was a said, did I, did I miscount a pack? Okay, we got four, we're four packs and we're on the right path. For a second there, I thought I was gonna shortchange you. I didn't wanna do that, nobody likes that. Everybody would hate me for it. Come on, good stuff, good stuff. Um, Nixless, the Hate Twisted, and is it a Mythic? It's a rare. Oh, it's Tommy. Tommy Distinguished Advocate and the Augur of Bolas foil. Augur is good. All right. Let's get one of those Accordion Mythics that I keep talking about and nobody ever keeps seeing. Ah, Umori the Collector. Mono Creatures. That's what you're looking for with him. Corey. Thank you so much. Congratulations on that foil Emery. She is gorgeous. Love that card a lot. All right, next up we've got, we've got Chesh. Let's dig deep for the Chesh. We're going real deep here. One, two, three, three packs. Oh, he got the special surprise, Chesh. Why not? He's been with us for a while, always cheering us on. We'll, so we know what's in the Chandra one, but we don't know what the foil is. So that's right. Outside of the three Modern Horizons, there's one Chandra's signature spell book, and Chesh, you got it. You lucky boy. Kogla. King Kong in it. Look at that King Kong. I, another Ikoria. You know what? I have heard Chesh loves, like loves Ikoria. It's his favorite set ever created. He loves the mutate mechanic. It made, makes sense to him. He plays with it. He just likes it. And a voracious great shark. And he likes sharks. He's a fan of swimming in the ocean, you know, doing shark things. All right. Let's see if we can get lucky. I mean, minimally, we get Chandra Torch of Defiance, which is just like by itself. So good. Rock solid, right? I mean, what we know we get is already good. But if we can get a good foil, is the foil right away on top? If it is, we're gonna move it to the back. I'm gonna slow roll it. All right, got Young Peasy, Rite of Flame, the Pyromancer Ascension, Pyroblast, I actually love using this card. Past in Flames, very powerful mythic. Fiery Confluence, another great red card. Cathartic Reunion, very crazy one to add. We, of course, get the beautiful Chandra Torch of Defiance. Very good mythic. And let's see. Is it a mythic? It's a rare. We got Rite of Flame for our other foily. Well, Chesh, I hope you enjoyed that. That is a pack full of goodness. All for you. And next up, Steve L. Not to be messed up with Steve P. Steve L. Oh, looks like we're, we're looking for Titans. Titan hunting. Wasn't there recently a card printed called Titan Hunter? I think there is. Was it either in a commander deck or it was literally in Theros? Ephemia the Cacophony. That's right, I said that fast because I knew exactly how to say those words. So smart, so proud of myself. Oh, these brains, man, we're at 48 minutes. We still have so much to open for y'all. So many good things coming. Ah, Nadir Kraken with the big Kraken hiding in the background. I do love that card. Come on, Steve. Steve L. 
Not Steve P, Steve L. What are we gonna get? <gasps> Eidolon of Obstruction. This feels like there's a foil though. There is, ooh, it's Siona, Captain of the Pelias. This is an infinite combo commander and you got it in foil. I actually really like that. Steve, thank you so much for being a friend, for supporting us. We appreciate you. Next up is Keegan. Keegan gets six packs. Let's see, I think I just scooped up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did. All right, awesome. War of the Spark is first. Wee. Come on, Keegan. Something good. Good planeswalkers, good things. Let's see them. Kiora, best the sea god. And Finale of Eternity. Another great card for Zach Zara. And a mythic. All right, chasing Titans. Let's find the Titans. We want Kroxa or Earl. We know they exist. They are real. Oh, Terranika. Terranika in this pack into nothing. Terranika. Ooh, this is one of the Japanese print ones. Print run ones. Get that rare right away. Spider. Get a swamp. And Nelia's intervention. That's right. I'm going to keep saying Nelia. It's not Nylea. Nobody knows. It's a made up word. I'm making up how I'm saying it. It's actually Frank. That's Frank's intervention. Frank does some rude stuff destroying things nobody likes to be destroyed mountain and an agonizing remorse foil that looks beautiful and thrix the sudden storm come on titans i really we need to see an arrow in this video you guys we need an arrow we want him we need him is he behind this Temple of Abandon. Is that like a hint that he's abandoned us? He's abandoned the packs. He's long gone. Uro has escaped. And ran out of the building. Ah, stolen by the Fae. For the last rare for our buddy Keegan. Keegan, thank you so much. Hope you enjoy all of the fun coming your way. Up next is... Steve P, not Steve L, this is Steve P. And Steve P gets three packs. And they are Theros, Theros, and Throne. We got all the packs. Great Hendra, I scream. Gromgali. Ah! Come on, I actually really like this card. I shouldn't scream. And it hurts your ears. Return of the Wild Speaker is a really good card. I, I still think it's criminally underpriced because long-term, that's going to be one of the best draw spells for creature-based decks in Commander. Nylia's Intervention. Sorry, Frank's. Frank's Intervention. God, that Frank. Making creatures cheap and stuff. Last pack for Steve P. Steve, thank you so much for letting me be ridiculous. And encouraging it. Allure of the Unknown with some beautiful Seb McKinnon artwork. Love how that card looks. Steve, I'm going to make sure these all get to you safe and sound. Thank you so much. Up next. Oop, make sure my piles are all clean over there. We've got Chris L with 11. Whoa, I almost fell. One, two, three, four, five, six. Digging deep, digging deep, go deep. There we go, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more blind pull, and here it is. It's a throne, all right. Oh, look at all those packs. I still don't see that golden orange Modern Horizons. I can't believe they made it this long. We've only gotten one so far. We're definitely getting down there on openings. I mean, there's just enough packs in there so everybody gets what they need. All right, Let's see if we can pull one of those fabled mythics that exist here. Oh, well, I, I peaked early, but we got Lava Brink Runner and Unpredictable Cyclone. We got two rares and one pack. Never a bad thing. We love foil rares in this world. They're good. All right, can we get the Great Henge? Can we get the Great Henge or the Questing Beast or something super powered? 
the Wild Born Preserver. Not bad. Works really well with those stinky old flash decks, that's for sure. Whoop. Oh, Mythic Realm Cloak Giant. Another Realm Cloak. Another little board white boy. And a Shining Armor. Ikoria. I still, I mean, okay. Somebody keep me honest here. Luminous Broodmoth. I feel like that is the only Mythic I have seen from all of these Ikoria packs. And I see that we're going to get one right now. We're getting, in fact, an alternate art one, it looks like. Oh, it's not even a mythic, it's the Dirge Bat. I mean, it's sweet. We got the showcase art, it looks great. Foil Divine Arrow. But it's still not a mythic. What am I missing? Did we hit other mythics? From Ikorian, I'm just totally blanking on it? I don't know. I feel like we are well overdue for some Ikorian mythics. Erebos' intervention, along with a beautiful island. Oh, let's get that. Let's get that Liliana. Actually, the finale of Devastation is the one that I feel like you could just all day, it's worth playing. Oh, Feather. Very, very rude commander. And it doesn't even cost that much to make Feather an insanely good card. And now that Sunforger is reprinted, that deck, that build, is even more affordable. Mantle of the Wolf. How? That was, that was my how? It's about as good as I can do. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Erebos, bleak hearted. Very fun god. Love to see the gods. You know what would have been fun is if they really thought ahead, they could have made a god pack with all of those constellation secret layer ones in there. Man, that would have been fun to hit. Castle Ardenvale, again, actually kind of good right now. Oop, wrong pile. With the uh, Divine Visitation decks. And you're pumping out an angel every time. And that's your worst case scenario for things that you can do with that deck. And the Gem Razor. Big fan of the Gem Razor. Best mutate card that we got in Ikoria. Last pack. Chris, thank you so much. Let's hope it's an Uro. Let's hope it's Uro. Field of Rune is good. And Storm's Wrath. Little, as good as red will ever get on that Wrath mechanic. Let's make sure I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Plus, we got one more because of the foil. All right. So, making sure I'm just losing my mind now. Want to make sure I don't shortchange any of my friends. Chris, thank you so much. Excited for Command Fest Cabin. Let's see how many more names we got here. Oh, I got a little pile. There's still, there's still good. There's a good amount. There's, it's okay. Let's go to Couples Magic. Three packs for Couples Magic. There it is. Oh, I like the purple and the green. Another Magic packs. Throne and Pharaohs. That pack just peeled right apart. It just fell right off this pack. It must be great, great rare. It is mirror made. I mean, I doubt it's expensive, but you couldn't sell me on this not being a super good rare. There are very few cards in Magic that do what this does. And a smitten sword master foil. Copying an artifact or enchantment. Real good. Oh, ah, especially at three mana. Japanese print run. You can get that rare right away. Planes. And the Grave Breaker Lamia. Grave Breaker. All right, come on. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Sandra. Give us what we've been looking for all day. Not Order of Midnight. It's beautiful. I love you, Seb. But I want... Not Fae of Wish. I'll take it. It's a very good card as well. But you all know what I was looking for. I want that Great Henge. I want him. Couples Magic. Please check out their YouTube channel. Couples Magic. It's a YouTube channel. It should be very easy to find. Next, we have our friend Trolls. Trolls in the dungeon. 
10 packs. I just grabbed a big old handful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still need three more. Three more packs, reaching deep. And we got, oh, that's two packs and one. And Trolls gets uh, Modern Horizon. I had to figure we we're gonna start seeing these, right? Like they can't, we'll save it for the end. They can't hide forever on us. A bunch of Theros packs. You got Trolls, you got a little bit of everything. Let's hope we can hit something good in there. The Horizons pack. Forest and the Phoenix of Ash. All right, more Theros. We still have not, let's, let's do the pull tab for good luck. We want, we want that god. We want the gods. Another forest. And Storm's Wrath. Still no Titan. Throne, here's another shot for the, I just, give, give me some good mythics. Give me some powerhouse mythics. That's what we're looking for. That is the nonsense that we need. Oh, we got the giant killer. Nice little foil behind it. The giant skewer. Pork on a spit. All right, try try the try the little pull tab again. See if we can uh, get a little extra lucky with it. Planes. Infuriate. We're gonna slow roll this. And a Terranica, Crowan veteran. We did that last time. Come on. All right, Corey, you gotta be able to pour us a mythic. I feel like. I still feel like I've only seen one mythic for Ikoria. I am, it's just, this is a long video, so. Ah, Vadrock! Apex of Thunder, we finally get another mythic from Ikoria. We get the big elemental dinosaur kitty for our friend Trolls. Thank God we saw another mythic. I, I am probably forgetting a bunch. This These videos are always long, so it's hard to remember everything, but. I don't know. Swamp, Thassa Deep Dwelling. Ha! Thassa Spice. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's a good one. I love Thassa. That is the best god, in my opinion. Either that or Clothis. They're both, or Clothis, however you want to say it. They're both so good. So, double mythic day for trolls. Can we do better? Animating Fairy. And Castle Vantress. We'll take it. Castle Vantress. Very solid rare. More Theros, more gods, more titans. Let's get it all. Oh. Field of Ruin. Oh, there it is. Trolls is the lucky guy. To oh my gosh. Troll. Troll in the dungeon. Oh man. You you got you already got the Modern Horizons pack. You got a Titan, a Thassa, a Foil Thassa, and some other weird elemental beast thing? Good Lord. Protean Thaumaturge, you take your stuff and you be happy. You go be happy, trolls. Oh, I almost didn't even open this pack. I didn't feel it was necessary. Watch him get a Force of Negation now. Give him a Foil Force. Take, take trolls all the way to the bank. Give him the payday he was looking for. Vista. Forest. Let's see, is it a mythic? Ah, oh, first we had a foil common. Ooh, the pondering mage. We'll take it. It's a rare. Ah, Kyle's Kaya's Guile. Look for a. Uh, oh yeah, good. Yeah, these are, these are some good cards. We'll throw those in there. Is there anything else good in here? All right. Wow, trolls! What a day. This has got to be the best I've opened for you for your uh, little ten pack run. That uh, was real good. Real spicy. All right, next we got, oh, the Mana Burn. The Mana Burn gets six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I get the, I'm getting really lucky with these. I'm like literally grabbing, it's like my hands know what they need to do. There we go, there we go. Now we're, now we're learning how to rip packs open. We figured it out, guys. We're good. Everything's good. Doom foretold. That is way too ominous. <laughs> that is not the card I want to open first. It makes me feel like we're still not going to see Uro. We got Kroxa, though. There's always a chance. Ooh, here you go. Aishox, you're sure. Erasure. Right, 
God, this this set got so much hate, and I'm telling you, long term money set. First, I ruin games. You got the fun lands. You got gods. You got titans. You got one, two, no one, really good equipment. I mean, I just you can't go wrong with this set. You got Garys in it. I mean, come on, citizen champion. And another one of those. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on, mana burn. Come on, friend. Ooh, and you got this guy, this dork right here. Dryad of the Elysian Grove, just killing it all day. One of the better rare cards we've seen printed is a new card in a long, long time. Very powerful card. Huh? And the Sundering Stroke. Well, I love that Dryad so much. He is so good. He's another long-term goodie. Though people will beg for reprints at some point. The Mana Burn. Check it out. It's a YouTube channel. Make sure you stop by and say hello. Hunter. Three for Hunter. Digging deep. Digging deep. And ah, there it is. I am sorry for those who remain. That was, I'm pretty sure last modern horizons pack and hunter it is all yours buddy mountain and another asiax erasure come on come on great henge great henge is what we need it's what we need another sundering stroke get it out of here nobody wants that card nobody wants the sundering stroke unless you're drafting all right let's hope we can make up for it with a money modern horizons booster pack we got motofan all right we're gonna do the peak again a little peak it's a rare zach stella what does zach stella do <gasps> dead of winter very good card. Very budget board wipe, too. Ooh, Crypt Rats and the King of the Pride. I always got to do the little double check. Hunter, thank you so much for being a friend. Make sure you get a deck full of snow-covered lands and play Dead of Winter, because it is just instantly good when you do that. Jose! Jose gets three packs, and he's got Ikoria and a couple Theros. Hi there. Hi there, Jose. Let's get something good. Just for you. Something really good. Mythic. Mythic. <gasps> Ooh. Catria Triome. We got the alternate art. Catria Triome. We will take that. That is a nice little hit. Oh, Theros. More gods. More titans. Something good. What is going on? I, I poisoned the packs. It's my fault, everybody. I poisoned them. Everything has an Asiax Irisher from here on out to mill out this experience. It's rude, and somehow I am cursed. Ah, huh? no, never mind. Back to it. We got a tutor, idyllic tutor, and a beautiful foil showcase Calafi. And of course, a Sphamp. Jose, thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you for organizing fun games on Discord. We appreciate you. And next up, we have Ron. Ron M. Digging deep. Digging deep for Ron. Uh, let's see what we can get. It looks like six. I don't know. Two, three, four, five. I'm slipping. One more. And six. Six packs for Ron. Looking for all of the wonderful things that could happen. Uh huh? Yeah, Vant, I thought if I went fast, maybe I would get that great henge finally. I was wrong, Ron. I was trying to do one good for you. Ooh, Japanese print run. We're going to get the rare right away out of this one. It's true. Island and the bronze hide lion. War of the Spark. I feel like we haven't seen a ton of mythics here. I know we've got... We've gotten the finale. That's all I can think of. I feel like we haven't even seen any uh, Planeswalkers. Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. I do like Soren. Very good static ability for commander decks. 
all creatures and planeswalkers getting that lifelink. Plus it has a little bit of that reanimate ability, not bad. And it pings down mana dorks. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. And another Soul Diviner for Ron. We got left, Theros and Dwar. Ron, thank you so much. Thanks for supporting my nonsense. Chandra, Fire Artisan. Last pack, give us that damn arrow. That's what Ron just said. He's watching this, he's like, give me that damn arrow. Nessian Boar, I do love Nessian Boar. He is a brutal card for Commander. He's just so big and so inexpensive. Everybody hates it. Ron, thank you so much. Get that off there, get us nice and sorted, and put you over here. Next up, we've got John V. Three packs for the V-Man. And we got him. Theros, Theros, War. Start with War. I feel like we're due for a mythic on War. We want to hit Spice right away. And, who? Sarkon the Masterless. Good for your Super Friends decks if you can play red in it, because he is devastating. That or any dragon deck. That static ability with a bunch of dragons is really, really harsh. Makes it almost impossible to attack. Hakdos. This, the Unscarred. I always want to say the Sunscarred. Unscarred. Because, you know, he's got protection. He's Achilles. You gotta find his heal, which is usually a two for me for some reason. Why does it have to be a two? There's a lot of removal in two. Come on. Another, another Hakdos. Why not, John? Why not a couple Hakdos? The one might die. You need the other one. John, thank you so much. Thanks for supporting us and helping us to grow. We appreciate you. Next up, we got Kyle. Kyle gets six packs. Starting to get down there. One, two, that looks like five. Yep, three, four, five. We need one more. And we got it. More Theros, it looks like. All right. Kyle, let's hit some money. Money cards. I feel like the only spot that we have seen a good deal of Mythics was Throne. Fabled Passage. Nice. Excellent little card. Love getting a fetch land to kick things off. Or maybe we've seen a fair deal from Theros. I've, we've seen some gods, some foil gods, chambers. Temple of Malice. Oh, switching over to the Japanese print run again. I really, I took this bag and I just shook the hell out of it. I really mixed things up. Mountain, the Chainweb Arachnir, and Mantle of Zavulf. No. Showcase Gods, Constellation Gods. Okay. Uro, maybe? Is it Uro time? <sighs> Temple of Plenty of Uros. And Gary. Gary, always good. I think he's down to like a quarter, maybe, but he is still super good in every format that you can play Mono Black effectively in. Ooh, Rugerin, Rogerin, Triome, however you say it. It's another Triome and a tentative connection. Love, love the Triomes. Love that we got a three keyword land like that. That is amazing and highly fetchable. Mountain and Idyllic Tutor. Oops, I almost put that mountain off on the wrong side. I will take the Idyllic Tutor. A nice way to close out for our friend Kyle Sweeney, our stream champion kyle thank you so much up next we got star one of our original supporters i'm going deep start i'm going deep i don't know if that does anything anymore one two three yeah that's six six packs for star we got a little bit of everything it looks like here just a wild chaos opening anything goes just digging in there elspeth conquers death and the Arena Trickster Foil with our forest. Back-to-back -back Mythic Strike for you. Is it finally time? I mean, I think there are two boxes. Uh, maybe it is just one, but we have only seen two Mythics in Ikoria. Grim Dancer and the Whirlwind of Thought. For one box, we've seen that card three times. Probably wrong. 
I'm just bitter because I don't want to fail my buddy star. Uh, Zerda the Dawn Waker. I do like Zerda. Zerda draft and oops, wrong pile. All right, three fairy, nickel bowl loss. You know, I'm just, I'm chanting good cards at this point. Liliana, finale of devastation again. That's how we started this all. Teo, so it's not a planeswalker. It's a commence the end game. There's Nickel Bolas in the art. We've seen Kroxa. We have not seen our buddy Uro. Let's get that Uro. <gasps> Treacherous blessing. No Uro. Ooh, beautiful foil Meyer Triton. That looks great. And it's Sevakitted, of course it is. All right, Star, thank you so much for all the encouragement and hanging in there with us. Hopefully I can clean something good out of this pack quick for you. Planes. And a Kuneros Hound of Athreos. I do like Kuneros. It's another deck I have. I have Kuneros Voltron. <laughs> Just a bunch of really good equipments all built around a devastating Kuneros. Oh, we've got four patrons left. Next, we've got Colton P. Six packs for Colton P. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm back at it. I've got the magic hands. There they are. Coria. Oh, majestic. Ooh, Luris of the Dream Den. And a foil Indantha Crystal. There it is. Another chance. I just want it. I want it, Colton. I want the Great Henge so bad. Can you be my hero? Ooh, not a Great Henge, but it is a great card. Brazen Borrower. Nice little mythic hit for Colton. I'm pretty sure Brazen Borrower is up too. It's another, it's another card that survives rotation and is just really powerful for control decks. The Gilded Goose is on the loose. If it were a nursery rhyme. Ooh, hour and 16 minutes. And man, if you've been watching this whole thing and hanging in there with me, I really appreciate it. Especially those patrons that are waiting for their name to be called. Narset, Parter of Veils, very good. And Ravnica at War, Colton. It just hurts multicolored things. It's fine if you're playing like mono white. It's kind of a... Silly card thrown commander. Just be rude to people that don't like to play monocolored things. Evolution Sage. It's too good to say no to. Dovin, Hand of Control, and Neheb, the Dreadhorn Wheeler. Your wheel boy every time he swings. Or deals damage, I think. Yeah, damage. That's what I meant to say. I knew what I was talking about. Doom foretold. All right, Colton. Thank you so much for being a patron. Thank you for jumping in and helping us to grow and just have fun. Next up, we have Kylo. Kylo gets three, three packs of Kylo fun. Three. Eldraine. Oh, it's another th <laughs> packs. Pharos, throne, and throne. All right, and our first round is Return of the Wild Speaker and a Silver Flame Squire. I do love that they finally brought Garrick back and cleaned him of his horrible curse because he is my favorite planeswalker. He's just a beast, a beast of a man that punches things. It's great. Ah, another Thassa's Oracle. Nice little combo finisher. And come on, Kylo. This is, is this it? Is this where we finally get, do we finally get a Great Henge? Are we gonna see one today? Ah, Mirror made it. Very useful card. Not the Great Henge, but Kylo, some solid, just rock solid useful cards. I always like that. Kylo, thank you so much for being a patron. We got two left. Alex S. One, two, three, three for Alex S. Alex, 
Thank you so much. Hopefully I get good card for you. Shore Shark, this thing, and oh, we got a double rare pack. We got a foil Yorian and a Zerda. Nice little start. I feel like if I say the word, maybe I'm jinxing it. So I'm not even gonna say the word this time. I'm not even gonna think it, I'm just gonna open cards. And Alex, I just want you to get what you want. That's all I want. Huh? Oh, you must have wanted the Royal Scions, I see. Very nice hit. Another mythic from Throne of Eldraine. And Alex, it is all yours. I love the Royal Scions, by the way. I, one, thematically love the idea of Planeswalkers sharing a spark. It's complex and weird. Also, that's a good card. The Wanderer and... Ah, oh, Stora. For some reason, I thought it was Pelucranos, and I'm like, wait a sec, he's not in war? What am I thinking? Alex, thank you so much for your generous donations. And the last of the patrons, the last six packs of magic. One, two, three, four, five, and it's six. And it's for Judge Will. Will, let's see if you can be the guy that gets the cards we need. Come on. Ah, Ayara, first of Lockthwain. Will, Will. Again, I'm not even, I'm just, I'm just getting what you want, Will. I'm not thinking or saying words that rhyme with Bright Benj, I'm just wanting what you want. To be happily ever after. What would any other man want in this world? I don't know. Torbjorn! Very molten core. Okay, Theros. We know that arrows, arrows can happen every now and again. We got this thingy. This is a thingy. <gasps> Dalikos, Crafter of Wonders. That's a fun deck to build around. Dalikos. Two more packs in the video is done. We have a Phoenix of Ash. And the planes. Last shot for Uro to show his damn face in this video. Don't fail me again. Ooh, Annex. Ah, oh, what a troll at the end. Gallia of the Endless Dead Dance. Oh, Will, thank you so much the brothers lap for all the love and support that is the chaos opening for the booster therapy patrons thank you guys for just letting us do this and be weird until next time this is booster therapy have a wonderful rest of your day